This is Angeline from the Nerds of Color talking to Avantika, who plays Rhea Kumar, and Michael Bishop, who plays DJ Max in the new Disney Channel movie, Spin. The Disney Channel original movie, Spin, follows Rhea, a relatable Indian-American teen who discovers her passion for creating DJ mixes that blend the rich textures of her South Asian culture and the world around her. Hi, Avantika. Hi, Michael. Hi. Hi, Angeline. Hi. First off, Avantika, I want to say how awesome it is to see an American Indian girl play a leading role. Thank you so much. That makes me so happy to hear. I'm glad you found it. You know, I'm glad you liked it. (laughs) Avantika, how do you relate to your on-screen character, Rhea? Um, I think we're both really similar in the sense that we've had similar journeys with uh, navigating through multiple things. We're both really big dreamers and we both want to do a lot. And sometimes you only have so many hours in a day. And I think Rhea and I kind of struggled with the thing of, you know, wanting to be a good daughter, wanting to be a good friend, and also wanting to do all of these hobbies and passions. And while I didn't necessarily do coding or waitressing at, waitressing at restaurant, I did like badminton, I did dance. And so I kind of find a lot of myself in her and how we've both evolved and how we've both changed over the course of our lives. Yeah, it's crazy how much we are multitasked by doing all of these things in the movie. And Michael, how was it like being DJ Max? Can you relate to him? I think definitely a little bit. I think Max is just so fun to play. He's such a quirky kind of fun. He's a little bit, you know, he's cool, but he's a bit dorky. And he's just so fun to play because he just loves music and he loves performing and, um, uh yeah I think I can relate to that in, in that in that sense that I, lo- I love performing and I love you know being in the center of attention sometimes so I'm guilty of that um and I think we both have that in common yeah I love his personality he seems like a really good person to just hang out with mm. <laughs> Avantika how does it feel like to be an Indian in an Indian American movie that Disney Channel produced so so exciting I mean I like dreamt of being on a Disney Channel original movie ever since I was little, what kid doesn't? And to finally be on a Disney Channel original movie and have it be such a monumental movie to the South Asian community just means a lot to me. You know, growing up, I didn't necessarily have that on screen. So to kind of have the opportunity to be that person for other little girls is just so exciting to me. And I'm so grateful that I have this platform now. Yeah, for me growing up, I didn't see many girls who looked like me on TV. What's it like knowing that Indian American girls are now looking up to you? It's so exciting. I mean, I'm a little nervous because I definitely don't think I'm like the person, but also at the same time, like, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I just feel so lucky. I, I, I was like an only child. So now I feel like I have a bunch of little sisters and little brothers all over the um, country, just, uh, you know, watching this movie and finding comfort with Rhea and knowing that, hey, there's someone who looks like you who's on the channel now, so maybe you can do the same one day too. Yeah, because like when somebody says, oh, you're my inspiration, you inspire me a lot, then it means a lot to you. And you're like, oh, okay, so I have to be a good role model and show. Yeah, yeah, (laughs) exactly. Now for both of you, what was your favorite type of music from the movie? Mm. I'm biased, but I, <laughs> I love Max's music. I think it's so catchy and so easy to dance to. Um, but if I'm being completely honest, I think Rhea's music, uh, especially her final song, is uh, it's a really special way um, of, it has a really special um, tone of able, it's, it's able to combine all these sounds that are in Rhea's life. And uh, I think that's really special and if I'm being completely honest, it is a better song than all of Max's. <laughs> um, oh, wait, wait, sorry. Were you going to say something? You go ahead. Oh, um, I was just going to say I really liked her music at the end. It was very, it was very touching for a lot of people. Yes, I hope so. Do either of you guys have any experience DJing or spinning yourself before the movie? Michael? We didn't. Absolutely not. We had nothing going into this. Um, uh, I was saying to Avanti before, I don't know if she had a secret life of DJing uh, before the movie, but I certainly did not. Uh, this, This was the first time that I actually, you know, was 
had any sort of knowledge about DJing at all. So I think we were both kind of thrown into it in that way. And um, we did DJ lessons and and we learned the craft or at least how to pretend to DJ pretty well. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was definitely fun to navigate that world. Oh, wow. That's, that's crazy. You had to do the movie and then you had to learn also. So it's a lot of multitasking. Yeah. <laughs> now, did you guys get to help make the music? Um, I mean, at least from from me, we didn't necessarily help make the music, but at the same time, in a lot of the scenes where like I'm I'm DJing or I'm playing something, uh, the sounds that I was making were sometimes captured and they were added onto a soundtrack. So I think that's a really cool Easter egg. And I also think it's just something so nice of the producers and the music composer to do just to kind of maintain the authenticity of the film. That's cool. I didn't know that. I didn't even know that. That's awesome. <laughs> That's a nice mm-hmm. little secret. <laughs> Michael, did you get to try any of the food from the Spirit of India? Yes, I did. <laughs> I did. I mean, uh, Avanti and I were shooting a scene and um, I don't even think it was scripted that I needed to eat in the scene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I wanted to. Um, so I got to try these samosas and they were so good that I think we ended up you know, I would eat one every take and I'd probably had about five by the end of uh, shooting that yeah. scene. So. Yeah, you, took one to the, you took one to the trailer too, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, had to take, I had to take one home for later. I needed that. <laughs> that, really, that must have been really nice, like trying new foods. <laughs> yeah, I know. Recording. Absolutely. Yeah. And Avantika, what was your favorite Indian tradition with your family growing up? Um... I mean, I think we did a lot of very Indian stuff, but Indian tradition. Hmm. Oh, I loved the volley and I loved like we played poker at the volley. And so I loved doing that. I like playing games and playing poker. Um, so I think that was one of my favorite family traditions because we would all stay up until like 7 a.m. in the morning all the way from all throughout the night and pull an all-nighter and that was just like one of my best memories of um my childhood yeah I love celebrating Diwali with my family because I get to see a bunch of other family too so it's it's a really nice holiday for all of us yeah. now this is for the both of you who was a better DJ um I think it's pretty obvious <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious looking Michael at him if Michael thinks it's him, then sure, it can be Michael. <laughs> oh. well, we'll have to we'll have to let viewers decide. Yeah. I'm 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 uh, I'm actually a bit of a a Rhea fan at heart, but uh, <laughs> I just don't like to admit it. <laughs> I love both of your guys' music, so yes, it's up to the viewers. <laughs> Thank you so much for such a fun interview. Don't forget to watch Spin out on Disney Channel on August thirteenth. Bye, guys. Bye, thank you so much. Thank you, Anjali. Thank you. Movies and TV, yeah. Pop culture with a different perspective. Watch it on your screen, hit play, so check this.